Hello again. Um, a friend of mine sent me a, an email and she had a list of five cards that she wanted me to make. And um, this lady is one of those people who knows what she wants. So she told me pretty much exactly what she wanted. <laughs> so it was my job to interpret what she wanted with the, the resources that I had. She wanted um, an anniversary card for her husband for their 30th wedding anniversary. Um, I think they're going to be away on holiday uh, for their actual anniversary. And they're going to take um, a similar holiday to the one that we took in um, Vietnam and Cambodia. Um, so they'll be on the same ship, the river, river, river boat, river ship, spaceship, whatever they call it, that we went on. Um, what she wanted was um, a heart with some music in it. Uh, she wanted specific words, um, which I have done for her. And she wanted, obviously, some pearls in somewhere. So this is what I've come up with. I decided that I would do her front panel on the computer, obviously, because the words she wanted were to my dearest husband on our 30th wedding anniversary. In a way, it's a pity that she didn't put her husband's name in, I think, really, which would have made it more more personal. But this is her choice and she, she likes what she likes. So the heart that I've cut out, I, I did this on the computer. I can do a video with positioning and things. I have done one already, but for this particular one, I wanted to get this line of text midway between the bottom of the heart and the bottom of the panel. So <laughs> with my usual technical skill, I took my die over to my computer, held this in front, decided I'd make my um, square, I, I drew a guide square, exactly this size, um, and then made the text to fit inside it. I then went over to the computer with this this die, which is the one that cut the heart out, and sort of placed that to see where this line of text would have to be. I'm holding this in front of the computer, you understand, in front of the screen. Um, and it works out. It's incredibly, incredibly um, Heath Robinson, but uh, it works for me. So there's my front panel. Now, my, in, vis my vision for this is to have this slightly raised from the front of my card, the front panel. Behind it, I want to put um, some embossed card. Um, this one, it, uh, it's an embossing folder called Adagio. Um, the older I get, the more Adagio I become, I think. Um, but it's by Couture Creations. I don't know if it's still available, but, you know, um, I've had it for a long time. But there are lots of, you know, uh, embossing folders with references to music on them. So I'm just going to emboss that. I'm not going to use the whole of it, but I'll... Ooh, it's quite, quite tough Ooh, to get through. There, ooh, there we go. Like being shot from guns. Right. The last video I made, my my I had a different strap on my watch. We were zooming in and in and in. It was incredible. Started off making me miles away. So I've got a different strap. We'll see how we go. I'm hoping that the, the dial is going to be a bit further away from my hand. Anyway, so there's my embossed bit and I envisage that going behind there like that. But um, this die is a, from a memory box set. There are three different sized hearts with stitched outside. So it makes a perfect aperture. And then these ones are also um, memory box and they are made to fit precisely inside that aperture. So... I propose cutting one of these out and what I thought I would try, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it yet, is to use some pearlized card. I went rummaging through my boxes of card and I thought I must have something somewhere. So I've got this. Now it's it's a kind of different colour to the card base. It's, it's ivory-ish but I didn't particularly want to do an ivory uh, base card. I may have to. I'll see. Or I may do this bit 
in this kind of card. So I'll just cut one of these and see what I think. Where's my base plate? Here it is. And what I propose to do where the berries are on this die is to put flat back pearls on there. I don't think I'm going to put the the pearls onto the notes as she suggested, but um, I think, you know, she might give me a bit of license to do my own thing there, perhaps. Right. Seeing this at the bits out in the back. Now, at this I propose to go in there like that. I think that'll be all right, actually. There's not too much of it. And because it's a different, slightly different colour, you can see the contrast between the two, can't you? Okie dokie. Right, now, assemblage. Let's just try and see if we can get this thing to come together. I'm going to fold my card. Here's my scoring board. I've got the, the lines I use often just highlighted with a sharpie so that I don't have to go looking very closely. This one is my half of my square card um, designation. I'm using a, a Teflon bone, bone folder, which is, well, they are just lovely. I've got a couple of different styles. This one is craft treat it says they're a bit more expensive than regular plastic ones but they work beautifully and they don't get marked lovely right there's my card base having put the edges absolutely together the corners so you get a perfect a perfect fit also means it's so perfect sometimes i stick the the panel on the back instead of the front or on the side or something because i can't see where the fold is right i just pop those up on my magnet out of the way and now I want to try and um, mount this I would like to have this just a little off the off, off the back let me just um, the problem is I think I'm going to do another one of these in ordinary card just to thicken this up because if I want to have it raised from the surface it's got to be supported by something so I'm going to cut another one in just regular card. Will it fit off that one? Should do, shouldn't it? This is the aperture, so it should fit on here. Yep. Just cut this out. There we go. Oh, feather's just fallen. Right. Oh, that wasn't a very good idea, Christine, because you didn't get it on the edge. Let's do it on the top piece of card. This will do. It's not the same card, but it doesn't matter going behind. Right. Should have realised. Right. There we go. Okay. two together I've got to somehow attach this to the rest of the front panel and um, if I want to have it kind of floating so we'll see how we go I might but some tiny bits of, I've got somewhere some 3D glue dots. I'll have to try those. I guess if I can find them. Right, stick these two together. I do find that stacking die cuts just makes them so much more vital. It's a bit of a fiddle to, to get them aligned, but uh, so worth it. There we are. Lovely. Now, that has got to fit in there. So what I'm going to do 
is to put some double sided tape right across the two. And um, hopefully at the minute it's this one is slightly proud of that. But hopefully when it's the other way around and I can press down that top layer will be sticking up just slightly. It'll give it just a little edge. So let me put some of this narrower stuff on. I'll cut a few bits off and put it on. I'm trying to wield a great big thing like this is really quite tricky. You can bend it slightly as well, this narrower stuff, which is quite useful. I hope she'll be pleased with it when it's finished. But I find these particular sets of dies really useful for things like weddings and anniversaries, engagements, all that kind of stuff. They're, they're kind of understated, but really lovely. There we go. see what I'm doing. I tend to get engrossed in what I'm doing and forget that you can't exactly see what I can see. I would like to thank all of those people who do leave comments for me. It's wonderful to read them and I do read every single one and I respond, I hope, to every, I don't think I've missed any yet, but I do like to respond to you know, when people have taken the trouble to leave a comment, it makes me very gratified. I would like to thank everyone. And if you haven't subscribed, I would be grateful if you could do that too. Um, apparently, there's something to do with algorithms or something. If you are subscribed to a channel and you give a thumbs up to every video that you like, it becomes more visible. I think Google, whoever they are, um, show it to more people who actually are not subscribed it comes up in their feed so that um, you know more people get a chance to watch and that is great right now then I need to put some little bits on two of the one or two of these little bits here too otherwise they won't is that okay yeah I think so right Let's just see. Oops, that went flying. A little bit there. Little bit there. Here's the bit that went flying. Have a little bit on there. Another way of doing this actually would be to do a bunch of of um die cuts and just stack them behind um I, th I don't know how many it would make to make the equivalent of a piece of foam tape like this but um it's it's another way of having of having it work for you so right let's put a bit on that one there I imagine about three layers would probably have have done this actually to um, to raise it up. But I'll just put one on that little bit there, and I think that's gonna I'm gonna call it day that. Okay. Right. So there. Yes, you can you see now that is just sticking up slightly proud. Can you see it? That looks rather nice actually, doesn't it? Oh, I like that. Okay, now the next thing to do is to put my 
piece of embossed music behind. About there, I think. I think I'll just stick it on and then chop it off afterwards. So I want to, I want to get the position right. So I'll take these bits off. I can always hack away at the back of the this bit to cut it down to size. Chances are, if I cut it first, I'll discover I want it just a little bit further in one direction, and it, there'll be a gap or something, a, a hole. So I don't want to do that. So. It is really useful to be able to do computer sentiments for those people who, you know, want a specific name or something that you haven't got the small enough or the right font of little dies, alphabet dies to make or whatever. So it's really, really handy to have a the computer generated sentiment string to your bow. Here we are. Nearly done. This um, company that do this narrow foam tape, which I really, really like, it's called Sticks to Anything, the company. And they do all sorts of really nice sticky stuff. And this particular t foam tape, I found it, and um, I'm going to have to use a pokey tool here, it's just too tiny. I found it online by accident, I think, really. And um, this one's playing silly kids. Oh dear. There we go. Um, I found it online. And then when I tried again, I thought, oh dear, they haven't got any. I bought some and when I went to get some more, I thought, oh dear, they've got no more. But on the website, I put in as a search when I went back to get it, foam tape and they don't have the word tape in the description so it doesn't find it they call it a roll so anyway I was telling people that to look for a roll I should have told the company I suppose really but um, the next time I went back all sold out and somebody asked me said oh where do you get that tape from where do you get that and I sent them the link I said but I think it's sold out and I said the more people who email them to ask you know if they're getting some more, probably the more chances that they, they would do just that. Anyway, she emailed me straight back and said, they have got some in stock, they just forgot to change the website. So they changed it and I've ordered some more and she ordered some, so all's well. But it would be good if they could call it, put the word tape in the listing for it. Now, I'm going to put this straight on where did I like it's just where the notes fit nicely with the the bit that showed I think it was there all right I'm going to put it there do you see they look like they're floating now because of those bits of foam tape now I'm just going to cut this off that one. I think this needs just a, a sliver. Be careful not to cut the card front. And some of the other bit. If I'd cut that before, I probably would have made a pig's breakfast of it. And... Right. Now, all I have to do is put that onto here. Do you know, I'm just wondering whether I might do a border again. I chose the, uh, I chose the, the die for, the, for this one because it was stitched, because I knew this one was stitched. But, um, no, I think I'll leave it at that. I'll just put some more... 
adhesive on the back of this so that all of it sticks. Okay. And now we'll put it on the card front. And all I have to do is put some, add some pearls. There we go. Right, have a few pearls. Different sizes. Let's see. I'm not got much reason now. Yeah, some. Right. They're so pretty. I love adding pearls. Absolutely love it. Actually, I think the others need to be larger. I'll put a smaller one there. Right, here's some larger ones. How do I get in? Here we go. It's a good job she's going to give this to her husband rather than having to post it because these pearls plus the foam tape make it really kind of fat and they wouldn't go through the, um, the gauge for postage in this country as is I'm afraid the pearl ones are the, they are notoriously high if you know what I mean right a little one for there and we're done there to my dearest husband on our 30th wedding anniversary I hope you like it Thanks so much for watching.